Hello and welcome to today's Book Bites. Today I'm going to talk about Full Throttle by Joe Hill. Um, Full Throttle is a collection of short stories by horror writer Joe Hill, and for the most part these stories do fall under the horror category with some elements of um, sci-fi and magical realism thrown in along with some other genres. So I will just say right here that I can be described as someone who is anxious and perhaps uh, fearful and uh, put on top of that a global pandemic that's happening right now. So why, why, why would I read horror? Why would I choose to read horror? Well, the answer is that I'm a librarian and when this book was published back in uh, the fall of 2019, it got a lot of positive buzz. And I was very curious, especially given the genetic background of this particular writer, which I will go into a little bit later. Um, the other reason is, is the book is really well written and um, I'm gonna read you just an excerpt from the introduction. It's quite common to enter a library and find yourself in conversation with the dead. The best minds of generations, long gone, crowd every bookshelf. They wait there to be noticed, to be addressed, and to reply in turn. In the library, the dead meet the living on collegial terms as a matter of course, every day. So on to the stories. Um, Hill has a knack for creating relatable, interesting characters and putting them into these extraordinary situations and making you care about the characters. Um, he creates a lot of tension and suspense and often these stories will end in sort of surprise endings that come out of nowhere, which um, rarely are happy endings, but I did find them weirdly delightful because they threw me off guard and kept me by surprise. Um, I'm also, I was also really impressed with the breadth of these stories. He spans different types of subgenres within the horror genre and different kinds of situations. For example, there's a story, uh, an imagined future where robots will cater to your every emotional or physical need, uh, as long as you put uh, continue to put coins in their slots, and they're called clockworks. There's another story that takes place uh, on an African safari where hunters get to go through this magical door and they. Uh, what they think is going to be a special hunt of magical creatures, but it turns out they themselves are the hunted. Mm, like that. There are a lot of interesting stories. One of my favorites is about a troubled Iraqi war vet who, uh, whose experiences interrogating and torturing prisoners comes back to haunt her in civilian life. Um, but there's no paranormal element of this. It's, it's very realistic and, and very good. It has an excellent ending. Um, one of my favorite stories is called Late Returns which is about an antique library bookmobile, which occasionally will attract um, people from the past who are interested in finding that one last great read. Uh, this story is particularly imaginative and very touching and has just the right amount of goosebumps. Um, but really, I think one of my most favorite parts of the book is the introduction, where the author talks about um, how he came to love books and how he came to love the horror genre. Um, in particular. And the title of the introduction is Who's Your Daddy? And I'm going to read just a little bit of a, an excerpt from that. A child has only two parents, but if you're lucky enough to be an artist for a living, ultimately you wind up with a few mothers and fathers. When someone asks a writer, who's your daddy? The only honest answer is, well, it's complicated. So I'm going to mention here that Hill's actual biological daddy um, is a very famous writer, and the two actually collaborate on two stories in this collection. One of the stories is called In the Tall Grass and was made into an HBO film. So I will say, uh, my anxious and fearful uh, tendencies aside, this was really a worthwhile read. I listened to the book, which had its advantages and disadvantages. The advantage was that a lot of the uh, readers were excellent and really met the, the tone of their respective stories. Particularly Late Returns, Will, Reden, Will Wheaton reads that one, and he's fantastic. Uh, but it wasn't always the case. Some readers I didn't quite, I wasn't quite on the, on the same page with, so to speak. Um, so I would recommend this book, and um, that's it. Full Throttle by Joe Hill. See you next Monday.